going to start with a very short introduction to welcome everyone on this new live on our Parentally channel. Uh, for those who don't know me yet, my name is Carol. I am the founder of Parentally and we are a platform to help all new and future parents find all the extra care and support they may need during pregnancy, birth, postpartum and their first years of parenthood um, and we share uh, professional support, community support and of course informational support and that's the topic of today uh, to tell you about uh, kind of a new thing even though it's not really new centering <laughs> pregnancy <laughs> and uh, our guest is uh, Marieke van der Groep your uh, midwife at yes. Amsterdam I hope I pronounced it correctly <laughs> yes I'm sorry, it's a very Dutch name. <laughs> no, um, my Dutch is not very good, but I'm getting there. And I think maybe um, it's best if I give you the floor to introduce yourself to our um, um, uh, audience today. Just yeah. one quick word to say that uh, this live is recorded and uh, we will share it on the feed and on our YouTube channel once um, we are done. So if you are not able to stay until the end, you can always catch the replay afterwards. So the floor is yours. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me. Um, my name is Marike and I'm 33 years old. I'm a midwife for 10 years now mm. in Amsterdam. Um, I have two kids. They're five and they're two and a half. Um, and a husband, of course. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, we started doing centering, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I love it. So I was very happy you asked me to talk about it because I'm a very big fan. Oh, that's really cool. And I was also very interested. The, the, the story behind this is that, so I was in touch with your midwifery practice, which is mm -hmm. called Amsterdam. Yeah. And yeah, you have two locations here and we were in touch three. exactly. Oh, three now. Amazing. Yeah, three. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we were in touch exactly at the moment when you were starting with Centering Pregnancy. And this is when I started looking into it and yeah. I found it so interesting. So I'm really happy that we can do a live about it today to explain exactly where it is. And yeah, that's the idea. So maybe would you like to start by telling us, yeah, what is actually Centering what Pregnancy? Is. Well, Centering Pregnancy is a type of prenatal care that you can receive when you're pregnant. Mm -hmm. And um, the biggest difference from traditional care is that you do it in a group. So okay. we uh, make groups every month from people who are due in the same month. Um, and then we have nine meetings in the pregnancy. Okay. And in the first half hour of the meetings, uh, we do checkups. So there's always one midwife and there's one mm -hmm. co-host. And the co-host is normally not a midwife. Um, and in the first half hour, you come in, um, you're going to measure your own blood pressure so that mm -hmm. you know yourself how it's going. Mm -hmm. You go to the midwife, she will do a regular checkup. So she will check, uh, check in with how you are doing, but also, um, and most important, how is the baby doing? Mm -hmm. Is it growing well? Um, and then you go and have something to drink and a nice snack and chat with the other ladies. And then when the midwife is done with all the checkups, we have an hour and a half. Okay. to discuss all kinds of topics and normally the group is around 12 women mm -hmm. uh, so it's not nice it's not too big of a group mm -hmm. and um, not too small of course so that is a, a group feeling and in the nine sessions we always have a few topics that we want to talk about so mm -hmm. there are always two sessions about the birth because of course everybody wants to know uh, yes. what's going to happen and we really want to share what's going to happen what you really need to know but there's also a lot of attention for um, the prenatal part um, and also the postnatal part. Because mm -hmm. I think that's mm -hmm. the big, big difference. Like if you do the traditional care, you get a checkup with a midwife. Um, and then there's not really time to talk about how are you feeling about the time afterwards? What do you expect? What can you expect? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people have no clue whatsoever what's going to happen afterwards. So true. Yeah. 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 And um, so I have so many questions. So I'm <laughs> start and I think you already touched a little bit of, um, of my questions, but the first one is, where does it come from centering pregnancy? 
Is it and is it new actually? Because I said it's new, but uh, it is maybe not. not. New. Yeah, it's not new. It's I think it's ten years in the Netherlands okay. now, but it started in '95 in the US. Okay. Um, but it's here for now for like ten years mm -hmm. or so, um, and I think since 2017 it's getting uh, bigger. More people are doing it. Amazing. And yeah, and that's really good. And of course, we wanted to start it earlier on, but then COVID hit, so then we didn't do it. Um, because oh, you couldn't be mm -hmm. with the group together, of course. Yes. Um, but we see now more often that practices are really seeing the benefits of it. Mm -hmm. And I think first um, they said it's a very good type of form uh, if you are in an area with uh, a lower social economic class, mm -hmm. uh, because we know from studies that then, or studies in the US, that that has a very big difference yeah. in how, um, well, people, uh, are prepared mm -hmm. and know more and the more people know the better they take care of themselves and um, of course then you have the group that also keeps you motivated to do things mm -hmm. better and um, so I think for a lot of practices in the Netherlands they also said okay but we have um, a group of women who is higher educated mm -hmm. so what we are we have in the center of Amsterdam we have that a lot but we really really see the benefits of mm -hmm. it uh, in all groups. Mm -hmm. uh, so it doesn't really matter um, if you're a doctor or a cleaner or whatever, it doesn't really matter um, because everybody can learn from everybody and has very good insights for each other. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then you mentioned that uh, so each appointment, uh, each group meeting is about one hour and a half and it starts yeah. with the medical checkup. So does it mean that these appointments replace the, uh, I would say, traditional yes. individual yes. Uh, checkups with the midwife. Okay, yes, completely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So you have, of course, the scans that you have are in private. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have nine sessions of two hours, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but the first half hour is to check in with everybody okay. to see how uh, every belly is growing and everything. Nice. And then everything is done in a group setting. So let's say if you have questions, it's with the group. Uh, yes. Um, yes. Yes. And how does it work? I'm curious. Well, like... We have um, um, a paper and that's, it's the waiting room. Okay. Uh, and there you can write down all your questions. Okay. And in the beginning, we always really have to tell people that's where you write down your questions mm -hmm. because it's funny. Everybody is, tends to ask me all the questions. Yes. A bit when they have the private moment um, or they think it's um, they're, they're ashamed of their question or they think, oh, it's not relevant for the other people. But most of the time, it's very, very relevant for the other women yes. as well. Um, because if you have a question, probably 10 of the, of the other women have the same question or two of the other women, it doesn't really matter. Uh, or people forgot that they had that question. Yes. Um, so people are way better informed. And of course, if people have a question that they don't dare to ask the group or they don't want to write down themselves, then we can write it down. Mm -hmm. Is it, are the questions anonymous or like? Yeah, yeah. but yeah, okay. they're anonymous, but then sometimes people write down a word and they say, oh, who had a question about this? And they say, okay, this is my question. Um, and most of the time it's quite general questions for the beginning. Can I sleep on my back? Or yes, I don't know how does it work with uh, working out um, so then then those are all good questions to really discuss with a group i see totally makes sense and actually <clears throat> you also may mention that uh, as you um, um, move towards uh, closer to birth you have the two sessions uh, that are more dedicated to birth mm -hmm. but just in general uh, all along the pregnancy are there specific topics that are handled um, on yes. each appointment yes yes, yes. We have nine topics that we really want to talk about. And in mm -hmm. the beginning, it's, uh, for example, food, lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, but also complaints in the pregnancy. So all the, um, uh, the discomforts that you can have. And then we discuss them, not every one of them, but um, a few of them and the most important ones. Um, and what I really love is the meeting about family. Nice. Because then we're going to talk about what kind of family do you come from? Uh, yes. How do you see your own family? Did you talk with your partner about it? Um, and that's always a very nice session. That's the fourth session. Yeah. And then, yeah, people are opening up and I, I love it. Um, 
because it, people really are thinking about um, things they didn't have thought about before most of the time. Yes. Um, and the fifth and the sixth session, we're going to talk about the birth and then mm -hmm. always inclu including the partners. Okay. All the sessions are with women alone, except for session five and six, uh, so that everybody knows what mm -hmm. they can expect. And um, then we have sessions about the first week, okay. Okay. Uh, which uh, over the first week, so that you know a little bit what's mm -hmm. going on there. And also, um, while healing after birth, uh, mental health, we're going to talk about. Uh, so yeah. those are the topics that we definitely want to discuss. I see. And, um, you know, usually when you go to the midwife towards the... Um, as you go closer to the pregnancy, you have more a regular appointment. So how does it work with centering pregnancy? Is yeah, it... in, the be... yeah, in the beginning, you have every uh, four weeks a session. Okay. And then from session five on, it will be every two weeks. I see. So that they're closer together. And in the end, like um, I think most practices, they uh, do nine sessions and then it goes to one-on-one. -on -one. I see. But we still do a group session. We are... Mm -hmm two teams of three midwives. So nine, nine sessions will be guided for one midwife. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, we're gonna switch to uh, still group meetings, but then only for one hour because the group is getting smaller and smaller yes. and all the <laughs> big topics are um, discussed. And then you switch to another midwife. I so see. in the case, in our practice, that you know two of the three midwives. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. then it's every week. I see. Okay. And then, of course, if it's necessary or if somebody needs to come in between, that's, of course, a possibility. Okay. And then, yeah. Um, what do you think are, are, the, are the benefits um, of uh, centering pregnancy compared to the more traditional um, appointments uh, system? Uh, well, first of all, knowledge. Yeah. Uh, be because people know way more and mm -hmm. think about more things and definitely for um, the time after the birth, because yeah. a lot of people prepare for the birth and forget about the part that they had a baby mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, then how the healing process is going and what you can expect yes. from how, you're fe uh, how you are feeling. So I think that's a big uh, benefit, um, but also the social part. Mm -hmm. um, because For definitely sure. in Amsterdam, yeah. we have in our practice, a third of the people is expat mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of people are not from Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. uh, so they don't have a lot of people close by. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very nice to see how the group is bonding and that you really have um, yeah, a support yeah. group around you that yes. experience the same thing. Last week, somebody said to me, uh, he said, uh, I love centering. Um, it was the husband of one yeah. of the ladies who did it. Uh, and he said, when you meet people on the street and, and you did the centering mm -hmm. with them, it's kind of you, you went through the same disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it bonds. <laughs> and that's why you will always have a bond because yes. you did the same intense thing at the same time mm -hmm. in your life. Um, so I thought it was a very nice <laughs> yeah. way to put it. But I don't think it's a disaster to have a baby, <laughs> but... <laughs> I got the idea. <laughs> and do you, do you see like um, a parent staying in touch after, you know, after the, the care is over? Yes. yes. Is, is yes. there a reunion? Yes. Uh, or a, a meeting after? A, yeah. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. That's also so cute with all the babies. And then we talk about the birth and the first weeks and how they're feeling. Mm -hmm. And that's also so uh, nice to see that there's a, a lot of support in that group mm -hmm. and that people really feel for each other I want to hear each other's stories yes I can imagine that and is it something that's so uh, more of a technical question now but is centering pregnancy like covered by insurance just like the usual um, prenatal care or uh, yes mm -hmm. it's covered by the insurance but uh, only from this year on uh, the midwives get money to do centering pregnancy okay. uh, so, so before this a year uh, it actually costs us money to do it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But okay. now, uh, for everybody who does it, we get money okay. um, to cover the costs. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So when you say we get money, you mean that uh, uh, parents pay no. uh, for the... Oh, oh, no. Oh, okay. No, the parents don't you... pay anything. Don't okay. Insurance. Uh, yeah. ah, okay. Okay. Got it. And is it available for every expectant parents? I mean, can anyone choose to do yes. surgery yes. in pregnancy? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you have a practice that does it, of yes. course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you can just see in your neighborhood um, where it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and then, yeah, everybody can do it. Amazing. And yeah. do you, do you, um, so let's talk about uh, Amsterdam a little yeah. bit. Um, That's okay. <laughs> um, how does it work? So you have groups in English, yeah. groups in Dutch? No, we have them mixed. Okay. Um, First, this was really a struggle for us. We mm -hmm. thought, okay, how are we going to do this? Are we going to do Dutch groups or English groups? And then both groups are not really full. And we have mm -hmm. a location in the East and the West. Yeah. And we thought, okay, how are we going to handle this? And then we thought, okay, but we want people to bond. And we want um, them to meet each other. So in the end, it doesn't really matter if you're uh, a Dutch speaker mm -hmm. or not a Dutch speaker. We're just going to combine everything. And in the first meeting, we're going to discuss what languages are I we speaking. See. Yes. And for most people, it's not a problem at all to speak English. Mm -hmm. So we do everything in English, but we always say, if you want to talk in Dutch um, or you have a question and you don't feel comfortable with saying it in English, that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also depends on the group because um, we always also had groups that there was one English speaker, but she lived here for seven years and she said, okay, it's fine. I understand everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so then it was in Dutch. I see. Um, But, or only a Dutch group, but to be fair, I never had a Dutch speaking really? group. <laughs> no, <laughs> no it's, all, it's always mixed. <laughs> okay, ah, that's nice to know. And um, so you mentioned that there are two um, facilitators in the group, so a midwife yeah. always and a co-host. And yeah. what is the profile of the co-host? Is it a... well? The co-host could be a cantor okay. or a maternity nurse, um, but we also have doulas, oh, um, amazing. midwife students, mm -hmm. um, yeah, our assistant is a co-host sometimes, okay. our practice manager was a co-host, so it could be anyone, you don't have to be a midwife because you, like what you do in the beginning is you welcome everybody, you tell them in the first meeting what's going to happen. Um, And let them know how they have to measure their blood pressure and what's going on. And in, then the rest of the sessions, you can do things together. So there's, for example, one session where there's always a body scan. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't have to do a body scan. Like, <laughs> you can do that as well when you're not a midwife. <laughs> what do you um, mean a body scan? What is yeah, a body like scan? A, on like a mindfulness okay. Um, okay. exercise so that everybody's closing their eyes and that you focus on every part of your body and wow. the baby. Um, and something like recently I had it with uh, a doula. Um, yeah, and she did. She can do that way better than me. So you can also really benefit from their, uh, the other, yeah. Um, um, yeah, what she can do best. Yes. Um, oh, and we, I had somebody, she was um, a lactation consultant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great because she can give all the information about yeah, that's amazing. Uh, breastfeeding and everything. And you don't, have to answer every question so it's also um, um, make people talk to each other mm -hmm. and ask if they have a question you try that they figure out the answer together sometimes mm -hmm. um, and then of course you don't always have to be a midwife to do that conversation yes I see and the content of these sessions actually is is it standard as part of the centering program or is yeah. can it can it vary depending on the, the practice They, they have a big map with all kinds of topics. Okay. Uh, but of course, you check in a little bit with what kind of people do you have? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is important to, uh, to discuss? Uh, for example, in our practice, we don't have that much, many people that smoke. Um, yes, okay. So that will never be a very big topic uh, because, yeah, we can talk about it for a very long time. But if nobody mm -hmm. smokes, then mm -hmm. uh, it would be nicer to discuss something else. Um, and that's... Yeah, I think uh, that can really be different in all practices. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes we also think, okay, we want to discuss this a little bit more. We and, and then we highlight that a little bit more than than they will do anyways somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the same for other practices. Yeah. 
Makes sense. Yeah. And yeah, I have one last question, but do you think there are any specific considerations or I don't know, things to be mindful of or aware of before choosing centering pregnancy for someone who is considering um, doing it? Um, is it for everyone? Is it like, yeah. I think it's for everyone. Yeah. And the funny thing is when we talk about centering, um, sometimes people are a little bit hesitant because they mm -hmm. say i'm not really a good yeah. person that's exactly um, yeah and i think I, I don't think i will like that or it's going to be i don't know a little bit chatting about pre being pregnant mm -hmm. all the time um or people complaining and that's not the case at all um of course we are in a group mm -hmm. um but you don't yeah uh, you don't have to present yourself to the group or whatever it's nice that no? you have something okay. that bonds you <laughs> and that you get to know each other um so i think if, you, if you're in doubt i always say to people okay if you think this might not be for me but i do want to try i would say try it for three mm -hmm. sessions but if you did it three sessions then you know really what's going on because in the first session it's just new you're with 10 11 other women that you yeah. don't know uh so the beginning is kind of uncomfortable sometimes depends on the group as well yes but if you did three sessions, then you really know, okay, this is the group. This is what's going on. Do I like it or not? And to be fair, sometimes I think it's also okay if you are not really loving mm -hmm. it, but are okay with it. Mm -hmm. um, because you will learn so much more than you will do in a traditional care. And you do have the group. So even in the beginning, you cannot really know how it will be in the end. Mm -hmm. because in the end when everybody has their babies they have a group chat they sometimes still meet up yeah. Um, yeah. and ask each other advice and i don't think you can know already when you're 14 15 weeks pregnant that you don't want that because mm -hmm. that's then it's such a big difference in your life that it's nice if you have other people that you can also share it with Mm -hmm. So I would always say, please try it. And if you hate it, then you can still stop. <laughs> has, it, has it ever happened? Yeah. Did, did you already yeah, have? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people that, yeah, or they think it's a, a big time investment. It is. Uh, this, it because, is. Kind of, yeah, yeah, it is more time. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's of course, I cannot take away yeah. because it is a lot of time. Uh, and sometimes people don't want to, want to do that mm -hmm. and that's okay as well mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. but i think you touched a lot of uh, um, a very interesting points i i i um you said that you don't have to introduce yourself at the beginning yeah you do first session yeah yeah it's not like you're not presenting you <laughs> yes, are exactly but you're pre you're yeah but it's all... laid back it's relaxed yeah yeah to be, for what we do in the beginning like if you if in the first session we always let them introduce your neighbor so you're going to chat first oh, nice. um, and then you're going to talk about your neighbor. You can say, this is uh, Carol and she is uh, this mm -hmm. old, this is her second baby or um, uh, so you don't have to introduce yourself. And then everybody's chatting already together mm -hmm. and that really breaks mm -hmm. the ice. That's really nice. So nice. yeah, it is really nice. Well, I think we've um, explored uh, quite many aspects of uh, centering pregnancy. If you have any questions um, among the viewers, please feel free to send them in the chat. And if we cannot answer them right now, we will always, uh, Marika can always answer them afterwards. Um, but I think it's a very interesting form of prenatal care. Yeah. So I'm really happy that you could come today to sure. explain. Um, in such great details of and course. i hope everyone who was listening also got um great information about uh, centering pregnancy i'm just going to look at the questions to see if we have any at the moment i think what's good to mention is that a lot of people think it's for first time mm -hmm. moms but that's not the case it's very good if it's a combined group so nice. definitely yeah. also for people who have their second or third or fourth baby interesting um oh just we have a comment uh from abla who says i'm with hamster mom and i will have my first group meeting on the 27th of march and ah, i look forward ah. to this thank you nice. 
Thank you. We'll see you then. <laughs> yeah. And well, I, we don't have any questions. So of course, if you do have questions after this live, please feel free to send us a DM and to contact also Marika directly. Uh, Marika, thank you so much for doing this. I think it was a great session and very enlightening. And I hope uh, this will reach as many future parents as possible because it's really important to know about this other option um and to see if it's for you and uh, i would like to thank all the viewers to who have followed this live thank you so much don't forget to follow us on parentally.nl uh, for more content like this um, thank you marika for your time you. and for doing thank this me. thank you everyone see you soon on a new live on parentally and have a great day thank you goodbye, goodbye. <laughs>